Ladies, I want to share with you something that God's been teaching me recently, and often what He's teaching me, I've learned, can apply to many of us, and it's this little two-word statement. You could even view it as an instruction or maybe even a command. Be still. Now, I used to think that this mostly applied to like God's, you know, admonition to us, you know, like especially on Sundays to take a day of rest. And so I used to think it was about resting, about maybe just taking a time out from your busy schedule, maybe even cutting some things out of your busy schedule so that you could just have a little bit of downtime, a little bit of just soul deep refreshment because God knows we need that. And so that part of the instruction, be still still applies, that we do need to have those moments of just downtime and not feel guilty about it, but give ourselves little breaks throughout the day to just say, I'm maybe going to sip a cup of tea or I'm going to just sit out in the sun with a good book for 10 minutes or I'm going to sit in front of the fireplace in the winter for 10 minutes and just have some downtime because we hardly ever do that in today's society. We're always being jolted by technology or something, right? But what I really want to share with you is God's been showing me some other ways in which he's asking us to be still. First, let me read three different verses in the Bible that God, you know, where God instructs us to be still. The first one is the most well-known, Psalm 4610, where he says, be still and know that I am God. Okay, but now listen to these other two verses. Psalm 37, verse seven. Be still before the Lord and wait patiently for him. And Exodus 14, 14, the Lord will fight for you. You need only to be still. Huh. What God has been showing me is that often I just grab the reins of my life because I know what's best. I know what should be done. And I charge ahead without ever really waiting on the Lord. And I think he's saying to all of us, would you just wait on me for a moment? Would you be still? Stop all your striving. Stop all your Googling for the right answers. Just be still with me and let me nudge you. This is like the Lord speaking. Let me nudge you when it's time to move forward. And I will have already had the time then to move things into place, to orchestrate things, to guide you. Don't just charge ahead with your own brilliant wisdom, but be still in the middle of a challenge. Be still and wait for the Lord to line things up, the right timing, the right words to say, the right actions to, to pursue, right? Wait on the Lord. Be still.